Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave and I'm back with more reactions with the next. Happy to bring you another episode of What If. Sorry it's running so late again today. My schedule's been off and I had to like rearrange stuff with the camera to get the stream stuff working right. Although we don't do these ones on stream anyway. These we only stream to our patrons and then the episode comes out later on Wednesdays. But yeah, sorry it's running late. Uh, I always want to give a big shout out to our patrons because without you guys we wouldn't be able to keep making great content like this. And uh, you know... Big shout out to the original content creators as well, because Marvel's been putting in a lot of hard work for a long time now to build their multiverse, and this is really the something that culminates well because of that, right? Like, these stories hit well because you know the stories and the characters they're based off of and have seen them play out already. Uh, with that said, as always, we are going to enjoy this. I, I, I am almost certain that they are not going to make a single What If episode I just don't like. Right, there may be some I like more or less than others for different reasons, right? But I don't think they've released a single one so far that I don't like. In fact, as far as their TV releases go in general, I've liked maybe the first couple episodes of WandaVision were a little slow due to its very conceptual nature, but otherwise, all the other shows were pretty solid. Uh, maybe not the like outstanding, not all of them, right, are like outstanding end of the world greatness, but I think they all had some really good pieces that made them viewable and watchable uh, television. With that said, we don't want to harp on all that, and I don't want to say with that said anymore because it's gets said too much. So let's go ahead and get into this episode of What If It Is Episode 6, What If Killmonger Rescued Tony Stark. And I am just super happy that we finally get to see uh, Killmonger again, his long-awaited return to the MCU in a way. Uh, I'm not sure if they're having uh, Michael B. Jordan do it. I think that's the actor who plays Killmonger in the MCU. But if they do, it'll be really great for us, right? There's no end to the great actors and portrayals that they've done in these movies to the point that sometimes the villains are our favorite characters, right? So... With that said, we've got our two minute intro. Let's get going. And I gotta remember to be. That's pretty uh, spot on for the uh, reenactment of the scene, a lot of it. Yep, there's that. Then there's the one who goes out and he's gonna get blown right there. Yeah, there it goes. That was really good. I can't wait. They do comparisons on YouTube and I love watching them like that. Obviously, this isn't uh, Robert Downing Jr. voicing this guy, but. Iron Man Tony Stark, but... Oh, shit! Bam! Look at him go! Look at him go! To be fair, Killmonger is a badass. This is spectacular entrance, seriously. The Ten Rings have reinforcements en route. We need to move now. Fine by me, Lieutenant Killmonger. Defined by sacrifice. Oh, nice. Iron Man. Oh, interesting depiction of that. I like it. Tony Stark's fateful capture in Afghanistan. The age of Iron Man would never come to pass. Harry Weddington, British Post. That's Did you learn any lessons from your time in Afghanistan? <laughs> Not a one. Never travel anywhere that doesn't have a four seasons. Art industry COO Obadiah Stane. Oh! Tony, I, I don't know what this kid's talking about. Let's get out of here and work through this. No, 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 don't you worry about that. I brought receipts. Wire transfers, bank documents, phone records, Google it. I just dropped it all online. They definitely got, I think that's Michael B. Jordan for sure. The smoothness of those. Get him, Happy! Hell yeah! I, I know I know this isn't like one of those feel-good episodes. They're, they're going to Wakanda. You know they're going to Wakanda, right? They gotta be. This is definitely not going anywhere where I thought it was gonna go. Liberator. You got an ear for branding, I'll give you that. He's he's gonna use them to do his plan, right? Design choice. What? I like anime. <laughs> end up with the world's most expensive Gundam model. Ah, ah, it looks warehouse. straight and like a fucking Gundam. He's not wrong. And Bloody Mary's hangover starting to kick in. There's got to be more to it, right? There's no way this is a feel-good episode where Killmonger goes on the right path because he met Tony Stark. We don't get enough of these, like, techie montages anymore where they're really doing it. Only a failure if it explodes. 
Okay, oh. that changes things. <laughs> They're, they're gonna need vibranium. Oh no, he's gonna make the arc reactor. <laughs> okay. See, I was saying he's still got his same past. That's the thing they do well about these is they keep the changes separate from the other stuff. I think that's a great idea. Excellent. I's dotted, T's crossed. Pep, drop the purchase order. I don't think it's going to be that great of an idea. I, I don't know why. <laughs> I just have a feeling. That's him, too. Oh, I always forget the actor's name. He's so great, though. He's so great at um, VizCap and MoCap for characters. It's gotta go farther than this. It's gotta go all the way back to Wakanda, right? Well, we still got plenty of episodes, so I'm not doubting it'll get there. Uh, where did you find all this? What's going on here? We've been breached. Find them and lock them up. It's gonna be the Wakandans coming. In. Oh, and they're gonna kill Rhodey, aren't they? And that's gonna this? get them to go to Wakanda and get them. I like how they're animating it's a little too quick for me but they're doing his like speed showing it really well in his like agile movements oh that shouldn't work on the that suit that, that's a big mistake right there sound energy doesn't work on vibranium it's a form of energy it would get absorbed into the suit but let's keep going. Unless he doesn't have his vibranium absorbing suit yet, which he probably doesn't. Oh, he killed Zrodi. Okay. Wasn't expecting this. I mean, I knew he was going to turn heel eventually. I just thought he was going to try to frame it up better. I think it could have been done a bit better. I would not want to play chess with you, my friend. Man, they killed Black Panther fast. So this is going to be more of an Iron Man versus Killmonger thing than, than a... I thought it was going to be Iron Man and Killmonger versus Black Panther. Or is he going to set it up and frame it that way? No need. I melted down that ring of yours. Have fun with getting beat up by your own robot. Vibranium worked like a charm. But he has a vibranium spear, so. What do you say? To killers? There's, it should have just been able to crush him like a bug right there. He doesn't have the uh, Black Panther powers. He should have just kept the Wakandan spear. That's his only legit way to fight this thing. That would have killed him. Like I said, it, it wouldn't matter what he did here. This, there we go. The Wakandan Spear is his only way out. I was going to say, without that, there's no way he's beating this robot. Once again, Stark is so much smarter than that, the whole place would be rigged to explode. It literally... There's a lot of bad done in this episode, honestly, just to get to this position. So, I hope they're doing some good with the second half of it. Definite hit job. The Wakandans wanted to send a message. Her is Pepper gonna get it? I'd say I would have straight say it's him. That's what we'll give him. <laughs> Put the Liberator drones into production. Also, America would lose. That'll require a multi-billion-dollar allocation. The board will need to be consulted. The Patriot Act should cover the red tape. The U.S. military is hereby seizing control. They would need all the vibranium that Clark you must be uh no thing had, and then they still wouldn't have as much as Wakanda has. America would lose a war with Wakanda. Period. Period, period. So let's see how they make this play out. Because right now they're pulling a lot of bad storytelling strings, in my opinion. At least they said in, that they got it from him. But yeah, once again, they still don't have nearly as much as is in Wakanda. They don't have nearly as advanced tech as Wakanda. So let's see how it pans out. Wakandans are full of surprises. I'm not going to lie. The only way they could kind of make up for this episode would probably be 
Shuri becoming the Black Panther. Other than that, they've made a lot of really weird story writing choices. Like you said, Wakandans are full of surprises. Bringing Claw back wouldn't fix it either because he didn't uh, kill the king anymore, so. I come with the gift and offer it justice. Just like your weapons, almost indestructible. Oh, please. They're built by Americans. We'll be home yeah, for they would. It will not be that easy. It would be that easy. The girls operate via a hive matrix, communicating with each other in real time to maximize strategic efficiency. Then how do we cut them off from their network? It would literally be that easy. Avenge my father. That not a red flag there, These T'Chaka? murdered your son. Even if there's only a chance I'm legit, isn't it worth the risk? Not really. Why to say you, G.E.'s family? She is, why did they make her so much smaller? Is she just younger in this part? It's tough to tell because we don't know the timing. Wakanda. In the true might of the U.S. military. Once again, versus Wakanda, it would do nothing. not working oh nope does it go what the hell is going on some kind of interference the drones have all gone dark yeah i see that get it back online and then they power up on killmonger's system i'm guessing or something Once again, it, it would still not be a fight. The Wakandans would literally wipe the floor with these drones. You saw Killmonger take down the drone. Most of Wakanda's soldiers should be roughly able to do that. It would not. It said it would not end in the victory of the drones. That's for sure. Like I said, it's not like some Wakandans wouldn't die, but I'd expect a 10% casualty rate max. Maybe 20. E Bombay! E Bombay! This was always gonna happen. You were always going to lose this fight. I don't know what. Who had you gassed up so hard? <laughs> had you gassed up, bro? Having said that, all it would take is one Hulk or Thor to destroy most of Wakanda. <laughs> so, should you pick. A fight with Bruce Banner, it's going to be a bad day with you. Just saying. Pre prepped, the Black Panther has real trouble against him. I only wish we could share it with our brothers and sisters across the world. Yeah. Now what are they going to say to him? Was it worth it? Oh, he is there. He shouldn't be there. He wasn't a Black Panther. Was he? If he had the herb already, he should have had the thing. For vengeance, for my father, and for all my brothers and sisters who suffered through oppression while you just sat back and watched. You but I knew it. He killed Tony. And your brother? How did you get this? Mr. Stark was a genius, but he's not the only genius. It appears we have a common enemy. Unfortunately, your side and mine refused to see it. So, let us open their eyes together. Heroes. Are never really gone. They live forever, as do the ones they inspire to carry on the fight. This was a little bit of a sad one. Also, probably the worst written episode in my opinion. <laughs> so much bad writing there that I can't even begin to cover the amount of, sh like, once again, to pull this. All right, so she got the access to those records. No need to publicize them at all. God forbid that would entirely reveal the whole truth and fuck up. <laughs> it's just so stupid. It's so stupid. It's like, I have proof. Yeah, release it. Then he'll be ousted and everything will stop. It's so fucking dumb. I just can't get over it. I mean, it was fun. But yeah, this is easily my the worst written episode. Not even close. It's so funny. Uh, once again, even the whole thing with America going to war with the Wakandans, the Americans would be stupid enough to do that, but the Wakandans would never even be worried. It, like I said, they, they, they're they so much more advanced than America in the comics. It's just not even close. I was kind of happy to see Killmonger win, 
because he really kind of was the hero of a story in his own way like Killmonger's right unfortunately right like 90% of the time except for maybe how you deal with that and even that is a very very arguable statement right uh, when he was talking with Rhodes and you, you fix the system with, from within eh eh how's that worked out good luck with that we, we you can have a discussion with me of that and i can point out how it's not worked well uh over time and how almost all revolutions in history are violent and uh bloody but we won't go over uh why killmonger's right in this episode uh we're just gonna go ahead and say thank you to everybody who watched i hope you enjoyed it because i didn't <laughs> Uh, if you liked it, support the original content creator. I'm hoping for a better next episode, so I'm going to keep watching. Otherwise, uh, you know, big shout out to the patrons who get early access to this as well as full content up on our thing. You can see the full audio, full video for as low as a dollar a month. I wouldn't do it for this one, though. <laughs> Thanks, guys. If you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe. If you disagree and you really enjoyed the episode, tell me why. Explain how the, the plot holes weren't bad and how the general story flow didn't did well don't get me wrong there are good pieces in it but that just ruins the whole story flow so i'd love to talk with you guys about it hope to see you later and we'll catch you next time on reactions with an x what